Hello, everyone. Thanks for taking the time to tune in to what will be the first of many episodes of the Weld RE4 School District's State of Our Schools. My goal for these episodes is to give a biannual update on our district, providing a window into our schools and the amazing accomplishments of our students and staff, as well as an open and honest look at some of the challenges we're facing. Ultimately, I want to continue to engage you, our community, in building relationships based on trust and transparency. Here are a few highlights from our schools this fall. Students at Skyview held Hollow Steam, a Halloween themed event with hands-on steam activities led by students. Three Severance Middle School sixth graders placed first, second, and third in the VFW's Patriots Pen Essay Contest. Caleb Kohler at Severance High School received a letter of commendation for the 2023 National Merit Scholarship Program, marking him as one of the top 50,000 students nationwide for outstanding performance on the preliminary SAT National Merit Scholarship Test. Keeley Burroughs, also at SHS, is a finalist for the Daniel Scholarship, a highly competitive $100,000 scholarship. There were seven students from Severance High School who were selected for the Combined League Honor Choir of Northern Colorado. The WHS Pride of Windsor Marching Band participated in the Nine News Parade of Lights and also placed fourth at state. Windsor High School students attended FESCON, a theater conference in Denver. More than 5,000 theater students performed in individual events and learned at workshops with professionals in the business. Five of our students performed individual events and all received excellent scores. Windsor and Severance Middle School students had the opportunity to attend Get Into the Guts which connected Northern Colorado eighth grade students with healthcare professionals and educators in real world medical or training settings. Students toured the Allied Health Program on the Ames Community College campus, as well as interacted with healthcare professionals through hands-on experimental booths that allowed them to learn more about professions in the healthcare industry. Our high school students attended Construction Con it was organized by the Northern Colorado Construction Sector Partnership. The hands-on, immersive construction experience provided over 500 high school students from different schools in Northern Colorado the opportunity to explore a multitude of career opportunities and different pathways into the industry. Severance High School and Windsor High School students had the opportunity to attend the Career and Technical Education Fair where they learned about a variety of post-graduation pathways. This fantastic opportunity, which brought schools from across Northern Colorado together, was organized by the Windsor Severance FFA Alumni Group. As a district, staff has been working to focus efforts on two main priorities, safety and academic achievement. Progress in these areas include formation of a community-driven safety task force, a beta launch of a district-wide consistent discipline matrix, implementation of the 2022 bond and mill levy override, finalization of the graduate profile, the five core skills we look to foster in our students prior to graduating, development of consistent district-wide multi-tiered systems of support practices, Realignment of district services to better support students and teachers through holistic instruction and resources. We are fortunate to live in a community where partnerships are valued and common. We see these partnerships occurring from all avenues with our schools, guest speakers and presentations, sponsorships of programs and scholarships, and hands-on learning opportunities. I want to specifically recognize the Town of Windsor, Town of Severance, City of Greeley, Windsor DDA, Windsor Optimist Club, Windsor Chamber of Commerce, Severance Chamber of Commerce, Windsor Severance Fire Rescue, 
Ames Community College, and the Weld RE4 Education Foundation, among many other amazing partners. I also want to take a moment to thank our community again for approving our bond measure and mill levy override in November. These funds will be critical in providing learning environments for our growing student population, as well as recruiting and retaining high quality staff. Stay in the loop on the progress of the bond construction projects at bond.weldare4.org. Last but not least, this spring will be a busy one. Here are a few items on the docket. First, we have the bond and mill levy override implementation. Our team is already working with contractors, architects, and the bond underwriter to kick off the construction projects outlined in the bond measure. We look to break ground on new elementary schools this spring, so stay tuned. Graduate Profile We continue to make progress on how we can orient work at every grade level toward the five core skills we look for our graduates to embody. Create, evaluate, relate, advocate, and participate. Safety and security. We look to soon hire a dedicated staff member, a director of safety and security in this important area. This individual will work to address the recommendations in this fall's safety and security audit. Boundary changes and long range plan. With the outcome of the election, two important items will occur updates to our long-range facility plan, and our school boundaries. Work on these two areas will begin soon and will involve community engagement and feedback. We want to connect with you. Stay tuned to all the things happening in our district by visiting our website at weldre4.org. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram or email us at engage at weldre4.org. I would also invite you to attend one of our monthly community conversations with our Board of Education. These dates can be found on our website, weldre4.org. Before I go, I just want to thank each and every one of you for your support of our students, teachers, and schools. We are lucky to live in such a wonderful and caring community and we are stronger together. So until next episode, take care. Remember, together we are Weld RE4.